jury was sent to the deliberation room at noon today. They deliberated for about four and a half hours before being sent home. Ray Tenzing faces two charges, murder and voluntary manslaughter. Prosecutor Joe Dieter's words, Ray Tenzing was never dragged. There wasn't a threat. And the former UC police officer's story is ludicrous. That story just doesn't cut it. So now we're down to perception. Perception, a word Tenzing used several times on the stand yesterday. Dieters attacked that testimony, saying perception is not reality. Tenzing also cried on the stand. They were not tears for the life he took, but it was for the life he was trying to save. Prosecutors said the evidence is overwhelming that Tenzing purposely killed DeBose. Basically, purposely means intentionally. If jurors agree the killing was not justified, prosecutors say the jury should find Tenzing guilty of murder. The defendant was very clear when this happened. At the moment it happened, he pulled his firearm, he aimed at the only target he said he had, and pulled the trigger. And with that weapon, at one to two feet, only one thing can happen. He purposely causes death. Jurors can only consider count two voluntary manslaughter if they are not able to find Tenzing guilty of murder. But the judge will tell you that this case applies if you find that he shot in the heat of passion brought on by serious provocation by Mr. DeBose. Prosecutors told jurors to re-watch the video from Tenzing's body camera. They called the video the ultimate witness. And jurors are able to review that video during deliberations, which are scheduled to resume around 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Reporting live downtown tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thank you. Now, after the prosecution laid out its first closing argument, it was Stu Matthews' turn for the defense. For more than a week, the veteran attorney has tried to plant seeds of doubt in the minds of the jury. WLWT News 5's investigative reporter Todd Dykes live now with Matthews' closing argument. Todd. Yeah, Mike, from race to what a camera actually sees, Matthew spoke for nearly 45 minutes. He chose his words carefully since so much is at stake. Defense attorney Stu Matthews began his final defense of Ray Tenzing by talking about this T-shirt featuring a Confederate flag. Tenzing wore it the day he shot and killed Sam DeBose, but testified the flag means nothing to him. They're trying to portray Ray Tenzing as a racist. That has nothing to do with this case. Matthew said prosecutors entered the shirt as evidence because their case is so flimsy. When you don't have a good case, you create a smoke screen to try to divert attention from what the real issue in the case is. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what the state of Ohio has attempted to do in this case. After dealing with Tenzing's controversial T-shirt, Matthews tried to convince the jurors the former UC police officer feared for his life when he killed DeBose during a traffic stop. He wasn't angry or upset with Sam DeBose. He was scared to death. That's why he fired his weapon. Matthews also reiterated his stance. Tenzing was being dragged by DeBose's car when he pulled the trigger, and then he tried to downplay Tenzing's body camera, which captured the deadly encounter in real time. That camera does not necessarily see what Ray Tenzing saw with his own eyes. It certainly doesn't have a brain to perceive what Ray Tenzing perceived, and it certainly doesn't have guts to perceive what Ray Tenzing was feeling in his guts. Now, Ray Tenzing faces two charges in this case. The first, murder, carries a sentence of 15 years to life. The sentence for voluntary manslaughter is 3 to 11 years. Of course, Matthews hopes the jury finds Ray Tenzing not guilty on both counts. Reporting live downtown, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.